Okay, so Meghan Markle's pregnancy was announced overnight, so let's have a look at how the world reacted to this news. Rumours have been there for weeks, but now we know for sure the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have finally announced they are expecting their first child five months after their fairy tale wedding. Eddie is at Admiralty House, and 7 News chief reporter Chris Reason is at the Sydney Opera House this morning. Eddie, first to you, pretty exciting news. What's been the reaction overnight? Very exciting news. Now, the baby will be born in the English spring with Kensington Palace releasing a statement with all of the details. The news has been welcomed right around the world, including the royal family and the Queen, said to be absolutely delighted by this. The royal baby will be seventh in line to the throne, bumping Prince Andrew down one spot. Two plane tickets, three passengers. Are you excited to be here, Harry? Arriving in Sydney yesterday, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex had a secret. The royal couple was in fact a trio. They were expecting. When Meghan and Harry walked out of Sydney Airport, Meghan dressed in black with a burgundy trim on her jacket, she was carrying a set of binders. Turns out they were hiding a little surprise. With speculation rife, the palace broke the news, issuing a statement saying the couple are delighted to be able to share this happy news with the public. It sparked a worldwide baby bonanza. A royal baby is announced. Hallelujah, die Spekulationen haben ein Ende. Breaking overnight, royal baby on board. The couple shared the news with close family at Princess Eugenie's wedding. The public suspected as much already, with Meghan dressed in a loose-fitting navy blue Givenchy coat, buttoned up high. The Duchess is believed to be 12 weeks pregnant, suggesting the baby was conceived in late July, just 10 weeks after they walked down the aisle. Due in the British spring next year, the young royal will be seventh in line to the throne, the Queen's eighth great-grandchild, the pair always vocal about wanting children. Children? Not, not currently, no. <laughs> um, no, of course, you know, I think, um, you know, one, one, th one step at a time and hopefully we'll, we'll start a family in the near future. And Australians will be the first to offer their congratulations in person with the couple's jam-packed royal tour kicking off in Sydney today. And that royal tour starts today and Kensington Palace has said the itinerary will not change. We understand the royal couple sought uh, advice from doctors before they left the UK about travelling to Fiji and Tonga because uh, some of the, there is some Zika virus in those areas. But that tour does kick off right here at Admiralty House this morning around 9 o'clock. Nat, they'll meet with Sir Peter Cosgrove and Lady Cosgrove, sign the visitors book and also meet with some Invictus Games athletes. OK, okay so that was interesting that... Um they're not going to change their plans, but I've I heard um, this afternoon that they they might actually change the plans, and um, Megan's mum Doria might uh, come to Australia, and, and uh, they've got alternative accommodation already arranged. So um, stay tuned. I reckon it's a developing story. I reckon tomorrow, and next day, we'll find out what's what's really going to go go on, and whether uh, Megan's going to accompany Harry to. Um, Fiji and Tonga or whether she's going to stay in Australia because of the Zika virus uh, uh, threat. So uh, let's stay tuned. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like and share my video and also hit the bell button so you get notifications next time I have a new video. Okay, see you next time.